Hello gamers and welcome to another episode of Fishing Planet. I am your host, Default Band-Aid, and today we are doing the mission on Lone Star Lake, Lone Star Invisible Line, so we can catch the Mad-Eye Buffalo. Now I've seen a couple of videos where people recommended casting out there, but the video that I saw where that was recommended, the guy had like 800 foot line and some crazy lure that made it so he could cast like 300 feet. And I'm at level 20, and I don't have that, so I'm going to assume most of y'all that are watching this for Lone Star don't have that. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing that's been working kind of alright. I've just been casting right into that clump of weeds over there. It's been working really well. So keep in mind, um, I actually found this out just recently. If you empty your bag while you're at Lone Star, it'll reset. So make sure you don't empty your bag while you're here at Lone Star, or it'll reset the whole mission. So most of us don't have a bag big enough to carry all sorts of backlashes. So... We're just going to have to back out and then come back. But this is pretty much the best method I've found. I seem to be getting snagged on something almost every single time. Yeah, see that time we got a water lily. So don't dump the backlash because it will reset. But I just keep casting right about there. In one of the videos, it I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of discrepancy on this. Some people are saying to keep your lure right at the top. Other people are saying keep it at the bottom. Personally, I, I think it just kind of makes more sense that you'd want to keep it at the top if you're trying to get snagged with these backlashes. But another thing I've noticed is in a lot of the videos, they tell you to set it really high, set it to like three or four. And I've noticed sometimes I can get snags on three, but I don't really see myself getting snags on four a whole lot. So we're just going to run it through. That maybe we'll get something. We got a rag. Terrific. Okay. Let's throw that away. I like how it gives you a warning. Are you sure you want to get rid of this bag? I mean, there's no practical use for it, so, and you can't sell it, so. I don't know really why you wouldn't want to. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we definitely got snagged on something there. Hopefully it's some backlashes. Yep, backlash with weed. And then we'll keep it and it'll update the quest. Hit the mission. And just keep doing this. And another thing about a lot of these guides I've seen for the backlashes, I don't know if it was just that the people were like unlucky or what it was, but it seems like there's a lot of time skips in the video, so you can't really tell if it's like a good method or not because like they could have just been doing it for like three hours and then just cropped in the short videos in which they actually caught the backlashes. I, I figured it would be better if I just did it all in one video for you guys. That way you could see what you actually have to do and get a rough estimate of how long this is going to take. So just going to keep casting right there where those weeds are. Right on three. Not really getting the best luck on four there. But we must have something. I'm just going to reel that in. 
Oh, got some water lilies that time. Try a little bit more up here. But this area right here, I've been getting backlashes pretty consistently. Oh, I got a water lily. So that's the thing here, is you'll get a lot of water lilies trying to do this, but what you're going for is those things right there. So what I'm thinking is, if you're following me, we're going for that, which also happens to be that. So how about we cast right about there? And then we'll just pull it this way. That'll basically double our chances of getting the backlashes. I think so. I'll try that out. Let's see if that works any better. Well, you know it did. So we'll keep that. Let's see, I got my three backlashes with weed. And I'm pretty sure it takes up the same slot as your lures. So if I actually go and let's see. I don't really use this a whole lot, so we'll just remove, let's see, I don't really like to do this, but we'll remove the flies, just for the purposes of this, so we can do it all in one bit, and I'll actually remove the, oh, let's get rid of the mini bass jig, I know I got ten of them, but. Sorry. Okay. So now <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing that we were doing to catch the backlashes. That worked pretty good the first time. Let's just keep doing it. Okay, we're doing this on three. And we got a water lily. Don't really know how that's possible since we didn't even touch a water lily, but that's all right. We just got to catch two more of these things. Oh, I think I got one. Looks like one to me. Yep. Okay, so now we only need one more. And this seems to be the best spot. And it seems like on the top does actually seem to be the best place to try to snag them. I don't have one snagged now, if though. Oh wait, now I do. There we go. And that is how you get backlashes to get your invisible line. I hope this video helped you. If you want to know the exact coordinates, I'm catching that. Let's see. Well, it's going to do last fish. So, I guess I can't mark that, but. I'd say, let's see. I'll just give you guys the best estimate here. I'd say it's right about there. Let's see, that guy's about. That guy's about that, yeah. He's about the same distance away from me as that is, so. I'd say about. about there. 93, 68, 16, 99. But basically, you're just. 
again casting in this little area here dragging it through those and then trying to drag it again through those in case you don't get it the first time and I guarantee you that's the fastest way to do it and I'll just show you my setup real quick Use an invalid cast it's a 6-6 six, six, with a casting spoon half ounce uh, 2 off. I got the 007 braid for 8 pound and I'm using a Lodex MG1000S with a max drag of 8.8 .8 pounds. Again, I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to comment on what you'd like to see next and subscribe for more and make sure to absolutely destroy that like button. See ya.